I'm George Galloway. I was for almost 30 years a British member of Parliament. Uh, but about 10, 15 years ago, I kind of moved into presenting TV and radio. And film was uh, almost an accidental uh, um, step along the way. And uh, then I got the idea, why not make a, a documentary film? I was quite well placed, maybe perfectly placed, to make this particular film because I knew Tony Blair better than almost anyone. I had spent decades in Parliament and in the Labour Party with him. I had opposed him all along the way. We were constant enemies from his assumption of the Labour leadership in 1994. He expelled me out of the Labour Party. He was the war leader, I was the anti-war leader. So it was a kind of uh, obvious thing for me to make this film. And, uh, it's been critically very well received. Deals with three killings. The killing of the Labour Party by Mr. Blair, the Labour Party as we had known it, and as I argue, people need it. The killing of a million people in Iraq and Afghanistan and around the world, and continuing to this day, and perhaps especially the financial killing that he has made. He's made 100 million pounds in eight years. There has been nothing like it ever in politics. Certainly in Britain and arguably anywhere else either. Is Tony Blair a war criminal? In my opinion, yes. Most definitely. The pursuit of money has become the dominant theme in your life. All these relationships are, in most people's estimation, corrupt relationships. No previous Labour Prime Minister has behaved in this shameful, money-grubbing way. Tony Blair could never sue me because it would be me and him in the High Court under oath for weeks. It would be the next best thing to The Hague, to a war crimes tribunal. He would never dream of it, and of course he hasn't and won't. Um, one of his top aides said it was meretricious. Well, I left school at 15, so I had to look that word up. Uh, and uh, I kind of took it as a, as, a, as a compliment. I think he meant it's the opposite of boring. It's flashy. It attracts a lot of attention. And that's exactly uh, what it's done. So I, I almost put meretricious <laughs> as, a, as a quote from uh, one of Blair's representatives on Earth. I almost put that on our poster. He doesn't come to England very much. Uh, and he certainly would never come to Scotland. Um, he, he stays away from England because as Claire Short, one of his leading cabinet colleagues, says in our film, he really is despised in Britain now. She says that's a strong word, but it uh, perfectly describes him. Uh, so I doubt uh, I'll ever set eyes on him again close enough to get my hands on him, but I think it's every citizen's responsibility to bring this dangerous man to justice, and I haven't given up hope that we'll see him in court yet.